Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss VNet pairing. Let's say we have a VNet pairing between VNet1 and VNet2. That means resources from VNet1 can communicate with resources from VNet2 and vice versa. So guys, let's assume we have this VNet1 and within VNet1 we have VM1. We also have VNet2 and within VNet2 we have VM2. By default, this VM1 and VM2, they cannot communicate with each other. It's because VM1 and VM2, they are part of different VNets. Now, in order to make them communicate with each other, we have to create VNet pairing. That is, we will create VNet pairing something like this. And now, VM1 and VM2 can start communicating with each other. Actually, with VNet pairing, these two VNets, they get combined, something like this. And it is as if these two VNets, they are one single VNet. And it is as if all the resources within these two VNets, they are now part of a single VNet. Okay. And now let's actually see it in action. So guys, we are in Azure portal and if you see, this is our VM1 and we are under overview and if you see over here, this VM1, it is part of this virtual network that is VNet1 subnet1. We also have VM2 and this VM2, it is a part of VNet2 subnet2, okay. And now we are in VNet1 and guys observe this address space, it is 10 0 0 0. Okay, and now we are in VNet2 and again observe this address space, it is 10100. That means address spaces of both these VNets, they are not overlapping and it is important. Okay, and also we have remotely connected to VM1 and VM2 that is using RDP. Now we are in VM1 and guys now first thing, let's open firewall. And guys observe this public network that is we have turned off this firewall okay so let's close this and now let's try to ping vm2 from vm1 that is let's check if we can communicate with vm2 from vm1 so let's open command from and guys we are in vm2 and the private ip of vm2 is 10104 so here i will say ping and obviously that's not going to work because these two vnets are not peered and you see it's not working and now let's go to the azure portal and let's create our vnet peering so guys let's go to vnet1 and here i will say peering let's say add So basically we can create peering on any of the vnets so here i will say vnet1 to vnet2 peering and here let's select vnet2 let's go down and here we have to provide the reverse pairing that is from vnet2 to vnet1 so i will say vnet2 to vnet1 pairing and let's say add so we have added by directional pairing. And you can see the pairing has been successfully created. And now we should be able to ping to VM2. So let's try and see yes. Now we are able to communicate with VM2 from VM1. And then guys, there are two types of pairings that is regional pairing and global pairing. And as you can guess, regional pairing, it is pairing between the vnets of same region and global pairing is pairing among vnets of different regions. Basically, the process to configure vnet pairing, whether it's regional pairing or global pairing, that process is same. Okay, that is.
we have to go to any of the units and we have to create the pairing just like we did now and finally guys if you remember till now we created application gateway and from application gateway we connected to the apis hosted on vm right but in that case application gateway plus our vm they were in same vnet okay but ideally application gateway it should be in a separate vnet itself and it should communicate with the required resources via vnet peering so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening